and welcome back. So today's tutorial will be one of the scenario based uh, tutorial. Okay. In tutor and I will start concentrating on the basic tutorials also because I'm getting a lot of comments from people that uh, they have just started with service now and they want to know the basics also. Okay. So I will try to cover some basic tutorials also. So in today's tutorial, I got one of uh, one comment from one of my subscriber and they asked me how to hide and show the form view, uh, form section. Okay. So today we will creating a tutorial on the same. Okay. So let's get started. You can see on my screen uh, uh, the interface for my service now instance. Okay. And for today's tutorial, we will go to the incident table only. Okay. Let's go to the incident table. Uh, let's let me go to all incidents and first of all I will try to explain you what are form sections and then we will will proceed with how we can show hide based on the criteria and all the things so this is an incident form okay as you can see on the screen I will just zoom out somewhat okay this is an incident form okay and what you can see on the incident form this notes related Say, uh, records record information these are the sections okay on this particular form now for example let's say we have a requirement that when uh, we have an incident of type of priority critical then only we want to show related records as we don't want to show the related records so how we can achieve this so in today's tutorial we will be focusing on that so first of all in order to get uh, to do anything on this form right you have to first understand what is the back end name of this sections right okay so how you can get that so and the second thing is like what exactly what approach will you will you follow okay in order to achieve this so as this is on a client uh, client side okay so we have to uh, we have to follow the client side sector only okay and in that you can do it via client script because you have the provision to write a script over there and you can simply easily do that so let's go to the scripting part so first of all, I will do what I will do. I will just duplicate this tab out. Okay. I think this particular is closed. Let's go open some incident which is open so that we can use the same incident. Okay. So let's open this incident. I will duplicate this tab out. Okay. So that we can write a client script on top of it. Okay. Now you can right click on the context menu. Okay. Configure under configure. You can go to the client script. Okay. Now what type of client script view, view will write? That will be the next question. Okay. Which is coming in your mind. So as you know, there are three types of client script, four types of client script basically. Okay. On change, on submit, on sell edit and uh, fourth one is on load. Okay. So you have, you have to think in this way, you don't lead a on load client script, right? Okay. You want an on the change of the priority field. Okay. So we will be writing an on change client script. So I will create a new client script I'll give it a name on on change okay on change I give the name in this way okay this is my naming convention okay because it it helps me out to understand okay uh, what exactly is this what type of client script it is okay and on what particular field it's it's acting upon so it's pretty easy to understand but you can have your own way of working right so now we will go table is incident is auto selected ui type you can select either desktop mobile service portal or all currently i'm working on desktop so i will select desktop now on the type you have to select on change as soon as you select the on change you have to define the field on which change of which field you want to execute this client script so we have to do it on the change of priority right okay then we have application i will keep it in global application active inactive inherit inherit what it does if you check this checkbox inherit okay then all the child table okay which is extended from incident table it get inherited on those tables but for now we don't want that okay you can give the description okay it's i i prefer giving a description because it helps us out okay in the future so we will be giving incident right hide form section when mm, when incident is of you can give something okay i'm just giving it uh, making some grammar mistakes also okay so that's that's how now you come to the scripting part okay 
so as it's on change you have a control to control okay on, on old value new value is loading is template okay so first thing first and the foremost thing what is the criteria which we want to define okay is like if whenever the incident is critical then only we want to show related records section okay so first of all that means we have to hide it out right okay so let's we will hide it out in the is loading itself so when it get loaded at that time only we will hide it out and then on change will work and it will execute or no need to do that also okay uh, we will write a different on load client script that we can you can figure it on on, on your own you have to just copy paste the script which i am i will be writing in the client script okay now what you have to do is first of all you you want to get the section name right because you do, you can't simply configure right click configure and see the field name the way we see the field name right for the form section okay so there are two ways to do that the first way is like you can simply search for form section okay so you can open the form section okay and in the form section you can search for table which is incident okay on incident table you have to check the views where is the views on which view so currently we are in the default view so we'll go to show matching to the default view and now you you get this and we can go for true one okay so now you can see there are four sections okay sorry just i made a mistake you can simply do show matching on incident okay and now you can see the four section notes related record resolution and this is a empty empty section okay so you get notes related record resolution information okay now if you go if you want to write, write a client script okay so what you can do this is the first way to get the name okay the second way i will be showing via script okay so you can simply do variable sections equal to g underscore form dot get section names so what it will do this get section name will uh, will look into the current form okay and it will retrieve with the array of sections a uh, section name okay and we will be doing alert sections okay just to get the name okay just to get the name and it goes it comes into the order itself so we want to hide which first second third 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 one we want to second one we want to hide right so we will be looking what is the name for the second one okay so i will simply go and save it out okay and now if we go to the incident form if we reload the form okay every time whenever you write anything on client script you just reload the form out okay and currently the priority is low okay i will just change the priority and it will get executed so you can see now as soon as the priority get change it give the it give the alert message so the first section name is notes second one is related record and the third one is resolution information so i will just copy this related record once okay because i want to hide this only okay so now once we get that thing out okay now the next thing what we have to do is like we want to write a logic around this so what our logic is i will just give uh, hide section just for my reference purpose now what we want to do we want to understand when the priority is critical then only we want to hide that section out right then only we want to show that section out you can say okay so what i will do i will, or let's make that way then when the priority is critical then we want to hide that section because it's critical incident right okay so what you have to do you have to just you have to just check for the choices right i don't know the choice value for what the choice value for critical so you can go for show choice list leave okay we will go for incident 
I think it's coming from task table or what? Yes, it's coming from the task table. So task table critical is one. The value is one. Okay. If you are not getting on incident form, that means it's defined on the parent table itself. That's how I guessed it out. Okay. Now what you have to do, you can simply uh, comment this out also because we got the section name right. And now you can write the logic that right? if g underscore form dot get value value of what you want to get the value of priority okay so i will give value of priority is equal to what one okay then we want to hide that section now. okay so we will do g underscore two form okay i'm just creating it for demo purpose don't take it intentionally okay that why on critical i'm just um hiding the uh, resolution information related records right okay just for the demo purpose you can discuss form dot set section display okay now it will ask which section display you want to set okay so we can give section display this okay and what you have to do you have to set the display to false okay if the priority is critical and you can give the else condition also else you should give the else condition because if you are not giving else then it will stuck on that particular condition only okay um that means if you change to critical it's got set to it just hide that particular field out but if you change it from critical to some other value it should show also right so for that you need to to define this out so i will just copy paste this out paste and i will make it true for other sex segments okay what warning i'm getting mix space control a shift tab okay save and now let's go to the incident form and let's see if it works one step back one step more back okay i will reload the form Ideally, it's already reloaded because we came from a different page, but yeah, still. So now, currently the related records are visible, right? Now, according what we have implemented, if we move it to critical, then it should hide that particular section, right? So let's do that. Hi, I'll make it this also hi, and now the priority changed to critical. Okay, as soon as the priority got changed to critical. the related section got vanished okay now we are unable to see that related section related record section okay now if i change it back to any other value now it changed to high okay from critical to high now it showed up okay so this is how you can hide and show the form section okay based on any criteria okay you can have your own criteria and you can define the logic the way you can just change the conditions or alter the conditions out right okay this is all for today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial okay please drop your queries in the comments okay because i am trying to create the videos out of your ideas only okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you